back guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing like the title says the disney tag yes these are some of my all-time favorite 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 videos to watch because i just love seeing what like people's favorite things are disney related <laughs> what <laughs> i haven't really looked at the questions i skimmed through them and like obviously i've watched a million of these but there's also like a million different questions so yeah, I kind of skimmed and found the one that like the questions really stood out to me. Sorry, oh my god. What's this girl? Pippi Longsucky? No. What's this girl's called? My hair is giving me some trouble today. So we're just in like Jessie style pigtails because you know how it is. And I've got my rose gold ears on and my millennial pink rugby jersey. Bit of a combo, but it's cool. It's cool. And I got some tea here in my Rapunzel mug. It's mint tea, it's great. Rapunzel, hey girl. All right, and we are ready to go. So let's just get straight into it, woo! So the first question that we have, number uno, is favorite Disney movie? Ta I'm gonna say Tangled, it is, it is Tangled, but then like old school, like, actually I'm gonna put these in two categories, okay? So we're gonna have old school and then new school. <laughs> kind of thing yeah so the old school one is definitely Lion King and then new school is Tangled so yeah Lion King and Tangled oh my god but also Aladdin and also Frozen that is hard that is a hard question to start off with but you know what actually we're gonna be ruthless I'm gonna say Tangled question number two Walt Disney World or Disneyland okay I could probably do like a whole entire video on this topic but just for the sake of this one um, I'm gonna say Disneyland. It was the first one I ever went to. It's the original. I just, I love Disneyland. Yeah, so I'm gonna say Disneyland. But I also like Walt Disney World. Don't get me wrong. And I was just there. So like, that's the one that's fresh in my mind. But I'm still gonna say Disneyland is my favorite. Okay, number three. Favorite Disney character, Rapunzel. Yeah, definitely Rapunzel. Yeah. Actually, is that, does that count? Or is there like a Disney princess? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do Disney Princess and then Disney non princess. <laughs> I'm gonna say Rapunzel and then Stitch. Which I actually have a stitch right here. Oh my god, I just bought it today. It's like a squishy, squishy thing. And it smells like watermelon. And I was like, what? Oh my god! Oh shit, oh my teeth. <laughs> yeah, Rapunzel and Stitch. Number four. The first Disney movie you remember seeing in the theaters. In the theaters. Okay, well, remember is a stretch, but, okay, if I was born in 95, see, I think the first Disney movie that I ever saw was The Lion King, but it wouldn't have been in the theaters because The Lion King came out in 94. Oh my God, I don't know. In the theaters. Okay, you know what? We're gonna Google this. Like, I saw basically every Disney movie in the theater. So what came out? 101 Dalmatians came out in 96. You know what, it was probably that. It was probably 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with 101 Dalmatians. I feel like it definitely wasn't 101 Dalmatians, like thinking about it now, because it wasn't the animated one, it was the live action one, and that would have been too scary for like a one year old. So I honestly have no idea. Oh well. <laughs> I'll see if I can get my mom to, you know, she wouldn't remember either, that's silly. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, number five. What type of Disney item do you collect the most? Probably ears. Yeah. Or pins. I collect pins as well. Um, yeah, I would say ears and pins. Because every time I go, I get <laughs> at least one. But it's definitely always more than one pin and pair of ears. Yeah, I'm going to say pins and ears. Six. Your favorite Disney song? I should have looked at these before. <laughs> This is where I'm going wrong, people. This is it. Oh my God, pay for a Disney song. I'm just gonna need it. Have a little thinky think. Get some energy. Okay. There's like favorite songs in every movie. This is so hard. How do people do this? Okay, well, I'm gonna say, I think Can You Feel The Love Tonight is super special to me because I used to sing it as a wee tot. 
Um, and I remember, actually funny story, some tea. I was auditioning to go to like a performing arts high school. So here I would have been 11 or 12, I think and going into high school and I auditioned with Can You Feel The Love Tonight and they were like, yeah, look, it was great you sang it well, but like, you're too young to be singing that. And I was like, it's in The Lion King. <laughs> what are you talking about? But like, I totally get what they were saying. Like, it's a love song and I was like 11. But um, yeah, so maybe Can You Feel The Love Tonight? Anything in Lion King, cause that movie is just like, oh. Oh, also Friend Like Me from Aladdin. That song is a jam. And I've been able to rap and sing that whole thing since as long as I can remember. And then like newer s s movies, like obviously anything from Tangled, I See the Light, is beautiful. Oh, and actually if we're going to like go, like can I include musicals? I'm going to include Nickelodeon anyway, but Frozen, the musical, True Love. The new song that um, Princess Anna sings is a freaking like heartbreaking beautiful song so to answer your question every single disney song is my favorite i'm just gonna um stop this video real quick and i want you to comment down below who your favorite disney princess or character is i want to see all of that so yeah comment down below favorite disney princess or character and go okay back into it okay seven favorite attraction ride at the parks hmm. okay well look it used to be California Screaming at California Adventure, but it is now, what is it, Jack Jack's something? The Race to Find Jack Jack? I don't know, it's something like Incredible Saints, and I haven't been on it since it's been that. But yeah, it always used to be California Screaming. I love Tower of Terror, obviously. Again, I haven't been on the Guardians of the Galaxy one, I've just been on the normal one in Walt Disney World and then like what it used to be in Disney and like I love that because I just think it's so hilarious because just every time you're on it people are just like screaming and I just laugh so hard because it's so funny. <laughs> like They're like ah! <laughs> and they're like ah! Ah! <laughs> it just keeps going because of things like yeah. Uh, yeah. Tara Tara, I love Indy, Indiana Jones in Disneyland. Actually what used to literally be my favourite ride ever. Um, is the Ariel's Ariel ride in Disneyland and like it's also in Magic Kingdom as well but I've been to Disneyland more so that one I just loved and I would literally drag my family on that all the time <sighs> I'm trying to think what else I love how it's like your favorite ride and I'm listing like 10,000 million but you know they're all incredible okay let me think let me think let me think is that all that's like coming to me oh I like rock and roller coaster yeah that one's really fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I would say like overall, maybe Tower of Terror. Yeah. Okay. Number eight. Yeah. What is your dream job at Disney? <laughs> to be Rapunzel in any capacity. <laughs> Rapunzel or Princess Anna. I think they're the most that are like my personality. So they'd be the easiest because I just, you know, hone in from my own weirdness. But yeah. And then like basically any like performance thing. So like parades, castle shows, any of the musicals like Nemo or anything like that. But actually, you know what? What would literally be like the pinnacle of like a Disney job for me would be to be Rapunzel in Tangled the Musical on the cruise line. Like that job's made for me. So if anyone knows of any auditions coming up, let this girl know because that will be amazing. Thank you. Okay, number nine. Who's the park character you never want to miss meeting at the parks? Rapunzel. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie. Like, duh. Every time. Um, number ten. What's your most treasured Disney item? Oh. Maybe this? Treasured, though. Treasured is very, like, important. Oh, I have a massive plush stitch that I got the first time I went. And it's like like this big I would go get him but your girl can't be bothered and probably him because I like begged and begged and begged and you would think I was like five but I wasn't I, I was 14 13 no I was 14 the first time I went to Disney because like it's a long way from Australia and I begged for this stitch and then I got it so yeah that was great but probably him number 11 oh I like this one which Disney voice actor would you most like to meet Kristen Bell hands down or obviously like Mandy Moore but like Chris and Belle oh, I love her oh and that like would have been Robin Williams who else 
Oh, Adina Menzel. You know, just let me meet Adina Menzel. You know what? I'll just can. I know they've already finished Frozen Two, probably. But if there's a Frozen Three, I could do any voice you like. Number twelve. Favorite Disney movie that's not a classic slash famous. What's a classic? You know, like what? You know, something that's not a classic to someone could be a classic to someone else. Datido. Okay, I'm gonna say Hercules. Yeah, I feel like that's not like super like famous or a classic, but man, that's a great movie. Or Hunchback. Is Fantasia a classic? I feel like it is. My parents hate Fantasia. They like Fantasmic, but I don't know. They just do not like Fantasia. And I'm like, what? It's so good. Anyway, I think I just have the nostalgia of watching when I was little. Okay, 13. If you could say anything to Walt Disney right now, what would it be? Okay, well, I don't think I could get anything out because I would be a blubbering mess. So I think the only thing I could muster to get out would be thank you, like over and over and over and over and over, over, over. So yeah, probably thank you. Okay, 14. Your favorite snack to get at the parks? Dole Whip. In any form. I like the classic Dole Whip. I like the Dole Whip float. I like just the pineapple juice. Anything in that thing. Yeah, just Dole Whip, definitely. Number 15, your favorite parade show at the parks. Okay, well this is just sticking out to me because I just saw it. But like, Festival of Fantasy is such a good time. Yeah, Festival of Fantasy was so good. Like, the tangled float, is that what you call it in America? That's what we call it, floats? Yeah, it's the same thing. And then it was like, basically followed by like, Merida and the Little Mermaid and, and like, Frozen. Oh, uh, yeah, it was so good. But I would say that, like, the the show, because it's like, you would have seen in my vlogs that, I don't know, moved me the most and was just so incredible was the fireworks. So, happily ever after at the moment. Oh, actually, no. No. Take all of that back. Rewind. No. Um. Oh, my God. World of Colour. World of Colour. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot that. The first time I saw that was, like... Oh, the most incredible thing ever. World of Colour is so amazing. I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah, mm, World of Colour, for sure. Closely followed by Happily Ever After. And I also like Fantasmic. You know what? All the shows. All of them. I'm a 16. Oh, okay. Flounder, Sebastian, or Scuttle? I don't want to choose. Flounder, he's so cute. But I like Sebastian because he's sassy and his accent's awesome. Oh my god, but then I feel bad for Scuttle because, like, nobody would pick Scuttle. Mm. All of them. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. <laughs> okay, 17. Your favourite Disney memory? So many. <laughs> There's literally so many of them. Okay, well, I would definitely say, like, the first time I saw World of Colour. And we had... It was probably in 20... When did I first go there? And when was it a thing? Because I feel like it wasn't a thing the first year I was there. It was maybe, like, 2010? 2009? I don't know, something like that. But we had the like dessert thing where you get the priority seating and like blow up cups and all that, all that jazz. And it was just a whole experience and I just was so overwhelmed and I was with my whole family. And it was kind of the first time we'd seen anything like that. You know, I think we'd seen the fireworks before obviously, but World of Colour was just like a whole different ball game. And they had, obviously they update it all the time with new movies, but I just, like sticking out of my brain that had this whole Lion King section and, the, and it, then it ran into like an Aladdin thing and it was just like oh my god so yeah probably the first time I ever saw World of Colour and then like recently because it's in my brain the last night we were there in uh, Magic Kingdom seeing Happily Ever After because I just cried and cried and cried and it was just a lot so yeah probably that all the shows they just like whew, they're so good anyway 18, do you have a favourite pair of Mickey ears? Uh, no, I love my children all equally. <laughs> no, um, like these ones. I love these rose gold ones. They're so cool and extra and amazing. But I also, from Etsy, got these, um, I've got two pair of, like, Rapunzel ones. So I really like those two. Yeah. Oh, and my, like, millennial pink ones. All, all the ears. 19, if you could, what forgotten princess would you add to the official lineup? I think everyone says this but like Giselle obviously but we know that that can't happen yeah but Giselle I love her 20 your favorite princess dress slash outfit um well like Rapunzel because it's pretty and it's like purple and pink actually no um well no like I love her <laughs> I, I think Belle 
Belle's dress because my prom dress actually was inspired by Belle's yellow dress so I can insert a picture yeah but yeah so probably Belle's yellow dress yeah or Aurora because it's pink and pink's my favorite color you know what all the dresses all of them <laughs> I'm literally failing it is so bad um 21 your favorite Disney soundtrack oh pfft, all of them <laughs> no let me try and pick at the moment, it's the Frozen musical, so there's a loophole there. Moana. Lion King. Oh, Lion King and Aladdin. Mm, yeah, all of them. These are very hard questions for, like, a Disney fanatic. Okay. 22. Genie. Oh, okay. Genie, Abu, Carpe, Iago, or Raja. Genie. Yeah. Genie or Abu. Or Raja. I'm going to say Genie. Okay. 23. Favourite restaurant at the... Parks. Be our guest. Yeah, be our guest. 24. How did you first discover the magic of Disney? Obviously, just as the tiny tot watching the Disney movies, and like obviously, Disney Channel growing up, I was obsessed. Like, Hannah Montana was like my favorite thing in the whole entire world. Um, like I wanted to be her. Probably just growing up, obviously because in Australia you're so far removed from Disneyland. Like Disneyland seems, seemed like back then. And I mean it still does, like it, it's such a trek to get to. And I know it's a trek for people in America as well, like if you don't just live there and it's very expensive. But yeah, to us it, it is just so far away. And when you're little, and you know, I didn't grow up super like rich or anything like that. So yeah, just going to Disney just literally seemed like an impossible dream. Just I guess dreaming about that and I, you know, actually going back to my favourite memory, probably the first time I ever went to Disney and I was, yeah, I think I was 13, 13 or 14. Yeah, it was just like the most incredible thing in the whole entire world. So, my whole life I've loved Disney. 25. What attraction are you most likely to go to first when you're at the parks? Hmm. Let's do it park by park. Okay, so Disneyland. Okay, let me visualise. Obviously, like, the car, hmm, that would be the same for Magic Kingdom, but, like, no, attraction. I'd probably go to Indy, Indiana Jones, in Disneyland. California Adventure, Tower of Terror, probably, and then I'd head to the pier. And, okay, so then Disney World, Magic Kingdom. Well, I, yeah, I would go to, obviously, like, the castle. And I feel like we always turn left. Like, we always go into Adventureland first. Don't know why. So, yeah, probably, like, Jungle Cruise or something. And then Epcot, Soren. I would do like all of those. So I'd do like Soren and Test Track, Emission Space, and then go do the World Showcase, uh, Hollywood Studios, Tower of Terror, and Rock and Roller Coaster probably. And then head to like Toy Story Land. Then Animal Kingdom. Um, Pandora. I did like try your luck to get on it. <laughs> yeah, like Pandora. 26, your favorite iconic moment. For example, Area on the Rock, Aladdin, Pine and Lamb, Rafiki, Lifting, Simba. <laughs> um, <laughs> all of them. All of those listed. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I mean, like, Simba, a little like Rafiki, Lifting, Simba, sticks out in my brain, and then. Yeah, like the whole of liking was iconic for me. <laughs> All the moments. This is a silly question. Okay, 27. What's the saddest moment for you in any in any Disney film? <laughs> Move faster. Well. Just leave that there. 28. Best Disney kiss. Well, I really like um, Rapunzel and Eugene. Or like Flynn Rider. Like that kiss because like... Like, it's just so beautiful at the end. <laughs> 29. If you could live in any world from a Disney movie, which would you choose? Any world? In it? Okay, this is going to take some thinking. Maybe, like, Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> because it's in Hawaii. <laughs> Be Finding Nemo because it's the ocean. <laughs> All of them. I just want to live in a fantasy. Yeah, I just want to be in any Disney movie. Which Disney princess has the best sidekick? So, um, Rapunzel, because literally Pascal is 
me in chameleon form <laughs> he's so sassy and amazing and then i love max as well so yeah i would say rapunzel has pretty awesome sidekicks but also lilo because Sti stitch her sidekick he's like a lead as well but yeah like stitch i also like mushu so milan but then timon and pumba so the lion king and then also abu so all the sidekicks. <laughs> okay, 31. If you could have a party themed around any Disney movie, which one would you pick? I'd say for like overall aesthetic, Lion King. I feel like Africa themed, you know. Or Frozen, cause that would be really fun. Like ice themed, <laughs> um, like winter wonderland type thing. Or like obviously Rapunzel and just have like braids. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 32. Are you the only one obsessed with Disney in your family? Um, I mean, for the most part, kind of. Especially now. Obviously, my brothers are older now. Um, so they're kind of, like, getting over it. They don't, I don't, it's not that they don't see the magic anymore. But I mean, my mum loves Disney. Not as much as me. And then, yeah, my stepdad loves Disney too, but like when I was little, well not when I was little, but when we were first going a lot, like everyone was obsessed with the magic of Disney, you know? But now we've been a couple of times and I think, yeah, it's probably only me that's like, I'm, but I'm like ridiculously obsessed, like obsessed. Like I know I'm in the minority in terms of like how obsessed I am. So yeah, I mean my whole family loves Disney. I mean like our whole lounge room downstairs is all Disney themed and stuff. So my family love it, um, but not as much as me. So but I, that's hard. Okay, 33. Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, Cogsworth or Chip? Lumiere, yeah. He's cool. Okay, 30, I don't know what we're up to. If you could choose the plot adaptation for the next Disney movie, what would it be? Ooh. I feel like Aussie Princess. I mean, we know we got Tiny Nemo, <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe an Australian princess, that could be fun. Um, or like a kangaroo. Could be about a kangaroo and a koala and their best mates. <laughs> I don't know, actually. No, don't. Uh, Dizzy, don't hire me to come up with ideas. <laughs> okay, favorite hotel at the parks. Okay, I've actually never stayed on property in Disney World. I've only, the only Disney um, hotel I've stayed at is um, the Grand Californian um, in Disneyland. And I liked that, that was fun. But I really want to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah. Which Disney movie do you turn to when you're sad slash upset? Tangled, I could not tell you how many times I've watched that. All the times so many like every time i'm on a plane i watch tangled <laughs> i watched it the other day to celebrate getting the rapunzel tile from Woolworths. so any excuse yes yeah, so i would say tangled do you plan to have have you had your honeymoon at a disney park <laughs> haven't had a honeymoon <laughs> tragic um but yeah definitely i want to get married at disney so like not just the honeymoon but yeah i mean i don't know my partner would have to, he would have to agree to get married to Disney and that's a lot. Um, but I would definitely honeymoon in Disney. Bow show. Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck? Mickey Mouse, but Donald, I love you. Okay, and we're going to leave. We're going to leave on this one. Okay, which Disney movie, even if it's not your favourite, will always have a special place in your heart and for what reason? Well, I mean, it is my favourite, but I love Tangled. I, I love it, everything about it, just the story. It was just, so that one has, whew, but Lion King, I think, yeah, when it comes down to it, Lion King will always be my favorite movie ever. It's, I don't know, there's just something about it. I'm obsessed with animals. I love lions. <laughs> Camera cut off, I don't know where it left off. What, just, you know, how, you know, Simba went through something so incredibly tragic and, and he still had to face all of these obstacles, but out of it, you know, he got two, amazing friends to own a Pumba and also like you know reunited in a way with Nala you know found the love of his life and then you know became you know just like the leader all because of this tragic thing which is so ter terrible and sad but I think it's just the whole like you can achieve what you want even if you go through terrible things but yeah I just love the liking 
but I just every Disney movie, you know, there's there's literally not really one that I don't like. Well, that's all the questions today. I hope uh, you enjoyed. I know that I cheated on pretty much every single of one of these questions, but hey, you know, it happens. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe down to my channel if you like these sort of videos. Um, I'm liking all the Disney ones, they're really fun. Give this a like if you liked it. And yeah, comment down below of like other Disney related videos or it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be Disney related, any other videos that you would like me to do, comment them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you so much. Bye. Mwah.